State tax dollars will be funding our bus or train rides this summer if we choose. This was legislators idea to try and incentivize more use of mass transit and to improve air quality during the smoggiest months of the summer. That's a great idea that is not supported by evidence. Our Steve Steger talked to a trans tra transit expert who says free fares don't necessarily mean fewer car trips. The goal ultimately is to expand public transit ridership across the state. And that's why state lawmakers passed a bill this past session, funneling money to the state's transit agencies to fund free fare trips when the brown cloud soars. The problem, according to a lot of experts in public transportation, is that free fares don't necessarily get people off the highway. You know, it's symbolic to say, well, we're going to remove the fares for, for one month, when actually the real obstacle to growing ridership is that the service isn't frequent enough. Dave Bragdon leads the nonprofit Transit Center, which researches public transit issues and advocates for a better system. People aren't going to change their habits on the basis of they're going to save a dollar fifty or two dollars on you know in, for in a, for a particular month of the year. People are going to change their habits uh, because the service is going to be there and be reliable for them all year round. Bragdon says one of the big issues with RTD is reliability and frequency for the people who use the system. For a couple decades there, they they were so focused on building new stuff that RTD did not focus enough on serving the people who are who are the most loyal riders of transit. Mediocre service at any price is not even, including free, is not going to attract a lot of ridership. Democratic State Senator Faith Winter, who sponsored this bill, says she believes it will work. We've worked with RTD and they thought that they could have enough drivers, enough reliability, that when people do come and try it out in August, it's going to be a good experience and hopefully they stick around after the free month. But Bragdon says the money would be better spent investing in the agency itself to make trains and buses more reliable. If, if the product that you're trying is free, but it's substandard and it's a poor quality product, it doesn't matter that it was free. RTD said it plans to offer the free fares in August. So we'll see. For next, I'm Steve Steger. Bragdon says that research shows the cost of a fare is a very small portion of someone's decision whether or not to ride transit. In 2018, UCLA studied former riders of public transportation in Los Angeles. That study found that most riders stopped taking transit and got cars because of issues with reliability and frequency.